Someone once said, Life is not about the destination, it's all about the journey. And I have to say, I agree. We were fortunate enough to take a once in a lifetime journey that took us seven months and more than 20,000 kilometers traveling through Southern Africa. A journey that has taken us from Cape Town to Malawi and back, camping at more than 60 campsites along the way, and more than half a year of living in our Land Rover Defender. This journey was coming to an end. We found nature and peace in Zambia we fell in love with Malawi and its wonderful people. We've managed to survive the summer heat of the Kalahari. We explored Namibia from the bottom to the top, finding desert elephants and lions along the way. We traveled Botswana from the north to the south with our friends and some elephants, and finally spending a month in the Kruger National Park before making our way back to Cape Town. Everything in life comes with risks. And the man who chooses to stand still and collect his nuts will have the least amount of risk. But those, those who dare to wander and to risk more, yes, those will be rewarded more. episode we left the Kruger National Park and we went to Gauteng where we visited Jackie's parents for three weeks. After that we started making our way down to Cape Town. Our first stop was at the Greek Dam. It was July and we had to get out our winter clothing but it felt good to be camping again. Our next stop was the Karua National Park. This was our last overnight stop on our way to the coast. The mood in the vehicle was quiet as we reflected on a journey that was nearing its end.
Karoo, Clean Karoo National Park. Very nice. We were heading to my hometown, Partenbos, driving over the Robinson Pass. We were going to the ocean for the first time since leaving it in Swakopmund, in Namibia. Going to the ocean! During our three week stay with my parents in Hartenbos, my sister treated us for a stay at Botlierskop Private Game Reserve. This was a luxury villa. After spending most of the year away camping, it was good to have some family time. After three weeks in Hartenbos, we headed for our last campsite before returning to Cape Town. We were heading to the Cedarburg, near the place where we kicked off our journey seven months earlier. Our spirits were high because we were nearing our final campsite and we have achieved what many only dreamt about. We bought an 11 year old Land Rover Defender and drove it to some of the most spectacular destinations all over Southern Africa. Many thought we were crazy embarking on this journey alone. But our trusty Landy, Nkulu, has been our travel companion, our vehicle, our bed, our kitchen, our shade, and our shelter for the entire duration. This all used to be a dream, but now it is memories. If there's one thing I would teach people, it is that dreams without action remain dreams. But dreams followed by action becomes memory. is opening gates again. It's been a while. <laughs> our last campsite was the 63rd campsite of our trip. It felt strange. We lived in our Land Rover for more than half a year. Our front porch changed every day. 
a lifestyle so unique and special, an experience that we will forever treasure, an experience that has changed our lives. Our last night we joined our friends for a birthday celebration before completing the last leg of our journey from Cape Town to Malawi and back. We did it. We made it back to Cape Town. Our journey came to an end. And what a journey it was. We just arrived back in, in Cape Town. Yo. It's a strange emotion being on the road for the last seven months having done 21,000 kilometers seen some amazing sightings visited some amazing places met amazing people end of the journey is yeah, it's probably not as good as the start of the journey strange emotions I really don't know what to say but it was the an adventure of a lifetime and it is a dream come true and from here on forward I will continue to strive for my dreams because if you don't have dreams what do you live for hey so if anybody else want to do something like this, put it down on paper, set that goal, set that dream, give it a date, give it a time, stop saying one day, stop saying someday, give it a day, give it a date, start working hard on it and go for it, go for it with everything that you've got. I mean, right now, we're back in Cape Town, I don't have a job yet, Jackie don't have a job. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with our lives now. So, it's a weird and strange place to be. But also, on the other hand, get a little bit of sense of accomplishment. It's not the same as passing a subject or getting a degree or 
this is this is a, a, a deep inner satisfaction. Well, that's it for Africa season one. Stay tuned because the next season is starting sooner than you think. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And that's it for now. Cheers. In the next episode, Jackie and I find ourselves on a plane and then on a scooter in a country far, far away from Africa. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Until next time.